a meeting of cultures and celebrating the passing of time. The Hare Krishna faith came from the east to the west in 1966, when it was founded in America with the birth of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. His Worship, the Mayor of Dunedin, Dave Cull, was invited to help plant a kofai at the Botanic Gardens to celebrate the milestone. Oh, this is a lovely um, <clears throat> gesture by Hare Krishna. Um, it's a reminder that in a competitive, consumer-driven world, there are other values, and that's what this speaks to. So thank you to Hare Krishna for giving the community this tree and planting it here. The planting was a team effort between the Mayor and Dunedin Hare Krishna coordinator, Jane Beecroft. She's thankful to the city and gardens for allowing the planting of a tree to mark the occasion. Yeah, uh, it, it means a lot to us actually, like it's very, very significant. You know, like I was explaining earlier on, our whole movement was started under a tree in Tompkins Square Park in New York. So to have a tree in such a significant place here in Dunedin is, is, is very precious to our hearts. Yeah. The organisation was given a few choices of which tree to plant in the semi-sheltered part of the Botanic Gardens. Beecroft says members chose a kofi as it felt like a good fit. Dunedin Botanic Garden curator Alan Matchett says it's a hardy plant. Yeah, the, the tree that was chosen uh, was uh, very previously chosen for its, its, its type and, and age. It's about uh, nine years old now and it should live a good, good old age, probably uh, over 100 and um, fill this uh, site in very well. Um, we've lost a number of trees so it's, it's a valuable replacement uh, in the ongoing development of the, of the garden. The Hare Krishna movement in Dunedin follows the religion's ethos of feeding people cheaply and well. Members provide 200 lunches at the Otago University Students Association every day. Beecroft says the faith encourages simple living and higher thinking. Daryl Beza, The South Today.